Hi, this is Sensei Jillian from Code Ninjas, and today we'll be going over what we call conditionals in Scratch, meaning we'll be learning about the if then and the if then else blocks. To understand how to use these blocks, it is important to know exactly what they mean. The block if then refers to a type of cause and effect by checking if something is true. For a real life example, I could say if the girl has school, then she'll wake up at 7. The if then else block takes the statement further by not only including the effect if the statement is true, but also including what code will run if the statement is false. So anything that happens beside the statement you put in after if will trigger this else code. So continuing the example from before, I could say if the girl has school, then she'll wake up at 7, else she'll wake up at 9. This means that any days she doesn't have school, she'll wake up at 9. Now let's get into the code in Scratch. One example of using the if then block is for my sprite's movement. For example, I can do if I press my space bar on my keyboard, then my sprite will jump. So I'll put that code in, attaching the if then block to when flag is clicked, and then putting if my key space is pressed, and then I'll put the code in for it to jump. I need to put this weight in so it will show that it's jumping. And then I also need a forever block in because I always need to keep checking if the space bar is pressed. Let's run it. See, so when I press my space bar, my sprite jumps. Let's try another set of code using the if then block. So say I had my cat ask what's two plus two and have me answer. I don't want the cat to accept any answer because the only acceptable answer is four. If I answer four, then my sprite will say it's correct. So I'll put in this code, so first it's asking, and then if the answer equals four, then my sprite will say it's correct. So let's try it out. If I say four, and it says correct. But say I put in the wrong answer, nothing happens. I don't have any response if I do the wrong answer. This brings us to the if then else block. I need to specialize my sprite's responses. If the answer is four, the sprite will say it's right. And if I answer any other number, then my sprite will tell me it's wrong when I'm using this if then else block. Now that we know what's going on, let me show you the code using the if then else block. So I'm putting in the same code as before in the top but then I'm gonna put that it's incorrect after the else. So my code is basically checking if the statement is true or false. So now when I answer four, it says correct, but then if I answer an, an incorrect answer like six, it says incorrect, perfect. So this works a lot better than simply having a response for only if the answer is correct. Now to recap what we learned, the if then block checks if the condition is true, and any blocks inside it will run its code. If the statement is false, the code inside will be ignored. But using the if then else block, if the statement is true, the code under the if then will run. And if the statement is false, the code under the else will run. Thanks for watching this video on conditionals. I hope it's helpful in future scratch projects.